Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 10, lesson 2, 10th page number is 637. Guys, you know that uh, already once there is tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands like this on this side, you have ten hundreds thousands and ten thousands like that right but when we have the numbers less than ones we present them with the tenths uh, with the decimals okay like this one 0 0.3 this number is less than one so before the ones we also have some place values before the ones we have a decimal point and the first place value, its name is tenths with T H S. Not this only ten. Tenths with T H S. And the second value, its name is hundredths with T H S. And the third one, it is thousands with T H S. T T. H S like that okay so before the ones we have a decimal and then the first place value is tenths then hundreds then thousands tenths means that we divided one into ten parts and out of ten we just have three here according to this figure three are shaded like this is one whole this complete is one whole we divided one whole into 10 parts, okay? If we write a fraction, the denominator shows us 10 total number of parts, which is 10. And the numerator shows us the shaded part, 3. So when we divide one whole into 10 parts, we call it tenths. And this is how we write its fraction. And the decimal is the first place value after the before the decimal the first place value is 0 0.3 if we have 3 out of 100 it will become at the hundreds place 0 0.03 the hundreds place is the second place before the decimal first place second place so the first place we fill with zero if we have 30 over 100 so it will be like this 0 0.30 clear guys okay this one now here uh, a campground has 10 campsites eight of the campsites have campers so eight out of 10 and remaining how much 2 out of 10 and the decimal for it the denominator shows the place value tenths because we divided one whole into 10 parts so 2 is what tenths 0 0.2 okay here now 7 0 0.7 its fraction will be 7 over 10 7 out of 10 4 out of 10 4 over 10 and it is equal to 0 0.4 8 out of 10 8 over 10 which is equal to 0 0.8 8 is tenths so 0 0.8 8 at the tens place value okay see these guys here 0 0.4 and 0 0.40 0 0.400 0 0.4 40,000 everything whenever uh, you have the zeros in the last digit before the decimal uh, that doesn't have any value if you see this in this one you have four tenths and no hundreds no thousands here you have four tenths zero hundreds means no hundreds no thousands Four tenths, no hundreds, no thousands. Four tenths, no hundreds, no thousands. 
So all these numbers are equal. You can write, for example, 0 0.8 or 0 0.80 or 0 0.800 or 8000. All these are equal numbers. Okay, this one now here, guys, independent practice. Okay, how we read it, boys? The word form. 1 over 10, it's decimal 0 0.1. And how we read it? We don't say 0 0.1. We say 1, read the number, and the name of its place value, tenths. So 1 tenths. This is its word form. Here, 5 tenths. 2 tenths. 7 tenths. 6 tenths. 9 tenths. 2 tenths because this is 0 0.2 2 at the tenths place so 2 tenths okay okay here now Cody wanted to play fetch with his dog his dog had 10 chew toys total 10 the denominator is 10 Cody took 6 toys outside for his dog write a decimal to show what part of the toys is still inside how many he took outside? 6 out of 10. Remaining 4 out of 10. So 4 over 10, 0 0.4, it's word form, 4 tenths. Emilio had a math quiz today. He answered 9 of the 10 questions correctly. So 9 over 10, 0 0.99 tenths. Okay, this is this question involves some money. And uh, Write a decimal whose value is greater than 5 tenths. Explain that 0 0.6 is greater than, or 0 0.7, 0 0.8, like that. Okay. And here's some explanation that all the decimals having 0 at the ones place, point, something, they are in between 0 and 1. For tenths, we divide it from 0 to 1 into 10 equal parts. In the middle we have 0 0.5 you can say it's half also in uh, fractions or you can say 0 0.5 its fraction is 5 over 10 when you simplify it you will get half I hope you guys understand the lesson if you really understand don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel learn math with mr. Sat and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video Thank you so much guys, have a nice day.